What's up, fight fans? This is Danny Austin from Post Media. I'm here at UFC 202 Media Day. Uh, after the incidents yesterday involving Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz's team, I figured I would ask two of their teammates, uh, Artem Lobov and Chris Avia, who are facing off on Saturday night as well. And I just wanted to know what their thoughts were on the incidents. So uh, here we go. Chatted to both. Um, what you saw, what you saw there happen. Uh, he was staying, he was, uh, kind of tried to, uh, come in like he was, uh, like he was a show and, and came in with his team, like, like they were, like, the, like they were the guys, like they were the, you know, and, uh, now we got real, real people with us, so, we weren't gonna play no, no funny game out there, so they decided, you know, we just gotta get, Let's get out of here, you know. Kind of let Connor try and come in and steal the show, like he's like he's some king or something. And so it was just all natural out there, and uh, whatever happens. Just remain calm, uh, professional. You know, there's been a lot of work to take the sport where it is now. You know, when New York has been approved recently. Uh, incidents like this don't do any justice to the rest of the athletes. You know, this was out of order. Uh, for many reasons, I felt uh, we're going to meet on Saturday night and we can settle our differences there and then, like professionals. All this throwing bottles, you know, this is something that shouldn't happen. And especially by the guys that aren't going to be fighting. You know, they were throwing all these gang signs in the air and throwing bottles. Where are they going to be on Saturday night? Chris is going to be in there with me. He has to face me. But those motherfuckers, where are they going to be? They're going to be in the crowd sitting, waving, watching him get butchered in there. He's only a little kid, you know, he's strong into this, he doesn't know what he's in for. I'm gonna make a man out of him, a broken we're man. We're just motivated, like I said, we remain calm. You know, there was the one issue we had, obviously, D, Connor's girlfriend got hit with uh, with something, so, you know, that wasn't nice, you know. This is the kind of people they are, you know, throwing stuff at women. You know, they made some little video of a kid, you know, fake, you know, by pretending to get hit. We could see the kid wearing represent t-shirt and all. I think he's like the cousin of Jake Shields or something. You know, but uh, the truth is that one of uh, a girl did get hit. Connor's girlfriend did get hit, and this is what they.